Hello, welcome to my video. I hope you enjoy the video. Remember. Spoilers ahead. A woman named Diane Sherman gives birth prematurely to a daughter, whom she later sees lying in an incubator surrounded by hospital staff. The screen reads the definitions of arrhythmia, hemochromatosis, asthma, diabetes, and paralysis. 17 years later in Pasco, Washington, Diane lives a quiet life with her now teenage daughter, Chloe. Due to the circumstances of her birth, Chloe uses a wheelchair and a stairlift, regularly takes various medications, only eats organic food, is homeschooled by her mother, and carries an inhaler for her asthma. She is currently waiting for university acceptance letters, but Diane repeatedly stops her from seeing the mail. One morning, Chloe is looking for a tin of chocolates and finds a bottle of green pills hidden in the same grocery bag. Chloe checks the bottle and finds a pharmacy label with her name covering Diane's. She tries to look up the name of the drug, Trijoxin but discovers that the house has no internet connection. She dials a stranger from her mom's bedroom, which has the only working phone and asks him to look up the drug. The man tells her it's a heart medication and that all pictures of the medication show a small red pill. Chloe asks her mother to take her to the movies. During the movie, while pretending to go to the bathroom, she rushes to the pharmacy across the street. The pharmacist refuses to tell her what the medication is at first, but Chloe eventually tricks her into revealing that it's a relaxant called Ritocaine, which is only approved for dogs. When Chloe asks what would happen if a human took the medication, the pharmacist informs her that it could numb one's legs. Chloe begins to hyperventilate when Diane suddenly runs in. She discreetly sedates her daughter and takes her home. Chloe wakes up in bed and finds her door locked and chained while Diane is out running an errand. Realizing that she has the house to herself, Chloe drags herself onto the roof, eventually making her way to her mother's bedroom and breaking the window with a soldering iron and some water. She begins to have an asthma attack and only barely manages to crawl to her room and retrieve her inhaler. She tries to use her automated wheelchair ramp to go downstairs but finds that Diane cut the power cord. Chloe is forced to throw her wheelchair down the stairs and accidentally falls, sustaining minor injuries but also discovering that she can move one of her toes. On the road, she sees the mail truck and rushes to stop it. She explains what her mother is doing as Diane drives past, spotting Chloe's wheelchair and stopping. The driver tells Diane he can't let her take Chloe, and Chloe tells the mailman she wants to go to the police. However, while he is closing up the van to take Chloe to the police station, Diane stabs him with a sedative syringe. Chloe blacks out, and when she awakes, she is in the basement of her house, with her wheelchair chained to the wall. In the basement, she discovers all of her college acceptance letters, childhood photos, a death certificate for a girl named Chloe who died two hours after a birth, and an article about a couple who had their baby stolen from the same hospital. She finds a picture of herself as a toddler, walking. When Diane enters, Chloe accuses her of deliberately making her sick and demands the truth. Diane insists everything she ever did was to help and protect Chloe, while filling a syringe with paint thinner saying it will make her forget. Chloe is able to crawl away and lock herself in a cupboard. Afraid, but quickly realizing that Diane won't let her die, Chloe swallows the contents of a bottle of organophosphate, forcing Diane to rush her to a hospital. Chloe wakes up in a hospital bed unable to move or speak, with Diane watching through the window. Diane insists that her daughter be discharged, but the doctors refuse until Chloe has been evaluated by a mental health professional. Chloe signals to a nurse, who brings her a pen and paper. A code blue is called and the nurse rushes out. Diane sneaks in and ties Chloe to a wheelchair to escape, the nurse finds the bed empty and alerts hospital security. A panicking Diane pulls out a gun and tries to find an exit, but Chloe is able to move her foot and hold the chair in place so Diane can't move her. Diane begs her daughter to come home with her, but Chloe defiantly replies that she doesn't need her any longer. Diane is shot in the arm by security guards, causing her to fall down the stairs. Seven years later, an adult Chloe goes to a correctional facility, although she stills relies on her wheelchair, she is now able to walk short distances with the use of a cane. She visits someone in the infirmary ward and begins talking about her wonderful husband, children, and job. The screen pans to Diane, now sick and confined to a bed due to her injuries. Chloe takes out three plastic-wrapped Ritocaine pills she hid under her tongue and tells Diane that she stills loves her before asking her to open wide, 